Hey YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to play, record, and edit Sega CD on the computer. Now you need three things. One, the Kega Fusion 3.64 emulator. Two, the Sega CD BIOS. And three, the ROM file. Uh, the ROM file is the game. For this tutorial, we will be using Snatcher. Now, all of the links for all three things I just stated are below in the description. Just follow along and download them as I do and you'll be playing Sega CD in no time. The first thing I want you to do is go to your desktop, right click and create a new folder. Name it Sega. Now that we have our new folder, go down in the, into the description and click the first link for Kegafusion 3.64 emulator. It will take you to this website emulator zone. Now if you scroll down in in this website you'll see download Fusion 3.64 click this link alright now it's asking you to download I just open them see these are zip files for this you either need WinRAR, WinZip, I use Alzip you can find one just going to Google just click OK alright it will download it and open it. Now you want to extract this folder here. We want to extract it into the Sega folder we created on the desktop which is right here. Click extract. Alright next thing you want to do is go down to the second link which is the Sega CD BIOS. When you click that link it will take you to this website ROM Nation click download this ROM if you see right here it will ask you to enter a number enter it and click download it's the same procedure as last time because it's another zip file alright it downloads it opens we're gonna click extract now go down to the same folder the Sega folder. When you double click it, you'll see Fusion 364. Now click that. That's where we want to extract the Sega CD BIOS. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is download Snatcher. Now that's the third link I have down in the description. This will be the last download for this tutorial. Once again, it'll take you to ROM Nation. Click download this ROM. Once again, enter the number. Click download. Same procedure, another zip file. So click OK and it will download. Now this will take a while. So you can take a break now, walk away from the computer. Uh, you can get something to eat or start drinking heavily. I'm going to suggest you start drinking heavily because that's fun. And our download's almost done. <coughs> Before it finishes, I want you to go into the Sega folder, Fusion 364. I want you to right click and create a new folder. Name it Snatcher. This is where we're going to extract everything in this latest download because it comes in at least 20 pieces just due to the fact that Sega CD runs off mp3s and has maybe 30 of them per game to ensure you're gonna get every sound for that game alright now that your downloads finished you're gonna wanna extract click the extract button go down to the Sega folder go into Fusion 364 and you'll see our new folder Snatcher click that then click extract alright this will take a minute or two Okay, now that we've extracted everything into that folder, you can X out of everything. 
All right, now go down to the Sega folder, open it, go into Fusion 364. Now before we do anything, we have to install the codec for Fusion 364. You'll see the uh, folder here called Video Codec. Open it. Inside you'll see two files. One's a DLL and the other one's an INI. Now Kega Game Video, you want to right click on it and go to install. All that does is install the codec. So whenever you have video recorded, Windows will be able to watch it. Alright, I'll go back into the Sega folder. Fusion 364. Alright, you'll see K Fusion right here. Open it. Here's the emulator itself. First thing you want to do is set up the Sega CD BIOS we downloaded. So go to Options, Set Config. Up here you'll see Sega CD, USA BIOS. Click Browse. You want to be in the uh, Sega folder on the desktop, Fusion 364, and you'll see Sega CD BIOS, which we downloaded. Click Open. Click Apply. OK. Alright, another thing before we start is go back into Options, Set Config, go to Controllers. You'll see uh, Port 1 keyboard is automatically the default controller for this so the arrow keys will move and I believe A is A, S is B and D is C enter is start but you want to go to port 2 click the down arrow go up and click empty now I know there are some Sega CD games that freeze when trying to use this emulator but if you put this to empty ahead of time you will not encounter that problem. Click OK. Now we're ready to start playing. Say so if you get a file, load Sega CD image. You'll see the Snatcher folder we, we created. Double click it. Then you'll see Snatcher. It's an ISO file. Click open. <coughs> and you'll see that Sega CD has started. Now, if you want to record this, go to Video, Log AVI File, and it'll basically just save it as AVI, so you can call it whatever you want. Save. Now we are recording the gameplay. Sonic look, does look pretty cute, I'm not going to lie. Now, I've never played Snatcher personally but I know it's like one of the most popular games on the Sega CD so I just picked it for, for this tutorial now I'm not going to sit here and play this but uh, when you're done recording your gameplay go to video log AVI file again. You'll see AVI logging stopped. Okay. Now under the Fusion 364 we saved this AVI file. You can see that it opens up. It's just basically what I recorded. Now if you want to edit that there's only one way to edit that and that's in Windows Movie Maker. So open Windows Movie Maker, click Import Video, go to your desktop, you'll see Sega, I'm sorry, desktop, Sega, Fusion, and then there's our AVI file. Now keep in mind, this is important, if this is something you want to put on YouTube, you have to put it in Windows Movie Maker whether you're editing, editing, adding in voice, or just simply splitting it up, you have to save it within Windows Movie Maker in order for it to be able to play on any other computer or YouTube. 